Okay, so welcome to the Filthy Good Vino Corkscrew Review Time. And we're having a look at the Durand today. This uh, is a bit of a combination between two classics. The Waiter's Friend and its screw, and the Arso with its prongs, which says, uh, I think, uh, twist rather than pull. Uh, as its motto, and uh, the idea is that you use two in combination with really old bottles of wine to make it easier to get the cork out without it breaking. So this is the first time I've used it, so we'll give it a bit of a test and see what happens. Uh, I've got a 1979 Lara Cabernet Melbeck from Coonawarra here. We're going to rip the capsule off and, uh, and get into it. So after we've done that, Oi! I don't think we'll be doing anything with this because look at that. The cork is actually right in there. So maybe that's the ultimate test. I'll give it a bit of a rinse out and uh, get rid of the wine, <laughs> and we'll see if we can use this cork screw anyway. There we go. So that cork is actually a full inch into the <laughs> into the neck of the bottle already. Um, I don't think this is going to be a great demo, so <laughs> let's see what we can do. Um, here we go. Well, we've got this bit in. I might try and just ease it out a little bit. Yeah, it's moving. And uh, surprisingly, it still feels like it's got a seal, even though that was leaking like a sieve. Oh, right, here we go. Look at that. We've got the cork to there. So the concept is now that we would have started with the cork out there and uh, then we slide these prongs in either side of the cork and down the down the edge there just by rocking them you can see I'm just rocking that in <laughs> I'm not holding high hopes for this wine but and then it's just a matter of turning and pulling and hopefully that screws holding the cork together while the prongs are helping me ease them out, there's a lot of muck on this cork. Oh, it's coming out cleaner at the end there. Oh, it'd be half okay. Had a little bit of vacuum, so there was a seal there. And look at that. The Durand has done its job. It's got that cork out in one piece. That's a bit of a winner. I'll just give this a bit of a clean. I'll decant it and see whether it's actually any good. Yeah, she's looking pretty brown. Uh, could be a bit of a, uh, a dogliotti, this one. And, uh, anyway, the Durand works, so that was pretty exciting. That was uh, recommended to me by uh, Elizabeth Claire Huey, and uh, Steph Dana picked it up for me uh, at Boccaccio Cellars, so I was uh, interested to try it. It is a bit exy at about 170 bucks, um, particularly when you can get a waiter's friend and an arso for about 20 bucks combined. But you can't quite use them like that. So yeah, look, if, it, if we have a look at this wine, it is it is quite brown, but it's still a bit of funk there, still a bit of yumminess. I don't know. You know what? Although that thinned out a bit. And it's still a really elegant wine with a lot of poise. Some lovely developed character. Definitely would have been in its, its, its prime maybe even 10 years ago. Uh, but good fun. And uh, yeah, I'll probably uh, drink a fair bit of that. So there you have it. The Durand. In need of a clean, but... Uh, did the job on a pretty old and, uh, as you saw, manky cork. Boom! Thanks for watching Filthy Good Vino TV! See you next